Enter Systems Engineering, Wikipedia Audio. Enterprise Systems Engineering is the discipline that applies systems engineering to the design of an enterprise. As a discipline, it includes a body of knowledge, principles, and processes tailored to the design of enterprise systems. An enterprise is a complex, socio-technical system that comprises interdependent resources of people, information, and technology that must interact to fulfill a common mission. It accomplishes all of the tasks of traditional systems engineering further informed by an expansive view of the context poet in which the system under consideration are being developed, acquired, modified, maintained, or disposed of. Enterprise systems engineering may be required when the complexity being faced which breaks down the assumptions upon which textbook systems engineering is based, such as requirements being relatively stable and well understood, a system configuration that can be controlled, and a small, easily discernible set of stakeholders. Elements Enterprise must produce different kind of analysis on the people, technology, components of the company in order to see the whole picture of the enterprise. As nowadays, enterprise becomes more complex with more problems and people to deal with it is important to integrate the system in order to reach a higher standard or level for the business. There are four important elements in order for enterprise system engineering to work. It includes development through adaption, strategic technical planning, enterprise governance, and SA processes. Mission Statement, Needs Assessment, Technology Descriptions and Goal Statement, Hardware and Software Requirement, Budget Plan, Human Resources Development through adaptation is a justified way to compromise with the problems and obstacles in complex systems. As time goes by, the environment will change and it needs adaptation in order to develop continuously. To develop through adaption, it experiences different stages. For example, mobile phone has gone through quite a few adaptations in its evolutionary development from the past. When it first released, the size of the phone is enormous, while since the generation changes, phone becomes smaller. Also, it developed from 1G to 4G for wireless network which makes everything goes quicker and faster and more convenient. To sum up, it refers to the process of composing a diversity of innovative ideas and choices to the enterprise and select the one that will be successful for the next generation. Strategic technical planning gives the enterprise the picture of their aim and objectives in the future and also an assessment on the process of organization. It brings a balance of assimilation and modernization to the enterprise. It has different components for STP. It is defined as the set of responsibilities and practices exercised by the board and executive management with the goal of providing strategic direction, ensuring that objectives are achieved, ascertaining that risks are managed appropriately and verifying that the organization's resources are used responsibly according to Enterprise governance includes two aspects which are corporate governance and business governance. It is essential to understand the company and to know what must be done in order to succeed. It allows us to make the right decision on the choice of CEO and executives for the company, and also to identify the risks of the company. There are four different steps in the enterprise system engineering process. It includes technology planning, capabilities-based engineering analysis, enterprise architecture, and enterprise analysis and assessment. It is a step that searching and looking for key technologies for the enterprise. The aim of this step is to determine and associate all the innovative ideas and choose the technology that are useful for the enterprise to develop in a sustainable way. 
business the strategies and process by the operation of business, application interaction and communication along with the process used in the company, information the logical data and statistics that the organization required to run properly and actively, technology the software and hardware and different operation systems that used in the company. We have to identify and look for the trend of the technology to decide what technology the company needs. It is important to understand what each of the technology can be achieved and will the characteristic of the technology fits in the company well. There are loads of technology-based decision need to be taken by the company such as deciding which computers to use, which software is suitable and useful for the company how to build up a system to back up all the customer data or essential statistics for the company with high security. It is an analysis method that focuses on the essential elements that whole enterprise needs. It is a scheme that target the innovation and evolution of the capabilities. There is a set of essential steps for the analysis. The activities are dependent and it is conducted iteratively. Interchangeable point of view, detailed views and well displayed. Showing the specific method, solution, and techniques, consistent views, supported viewpoints. Development through adaptation. It is a model that illustrates the vision, network, and framework of an organization. There are four aspects according to Microsoft's Michael Platt which are the perspective of business, application, information, and technology. The diagram beside shows that structure of the enterprise architecture. The benefits of this step are improvement of the decision making for enterprise, increases the efficiency on the IT aspects and also minimize the loss of the organization. All the elements are dependent and rely on each other in order to build the infrastructure. Enterprise analysis and assessment aim to find out if the enterprise is going to the right direction and help to do the correct decisions for the organization. It is strong advice to link with enterprise opportunity and risk assessment. There are also qualities that are required for this step such as aware of the suitable and capable technologies, to know and understand about C2 issues and also the background picture of modeling and simulation. There are various activities and actions for this event. SE refers to traditional systems engineering, which is a term to be defined as an engineering subsystem. There are differences between TSA and SA. There are survey results comparing both of them. The survey results shown that TSA and SA is complementary and interdependent with each other which SA has a higher rating while TSA could also be a hidden element for SA. So the combination of TSA and SA will be ideal for an enterprise in this generation. There are two types of SA application. Information Enterprise Systems Engineering and Social Enterprise Systems Engineering Strategic Technical Planning Enterprise Governance It is a system that builds up to meet the requirements and expectations of different stakeholders in the organization. There must be an input device to collect the information and output device to satisfy the information needs. Prepare the risk and opportunity plan select team and representatives, identify risks complete risk statements for each risk, identify opportunities people that work at tactical level and manager must understand the opportunities in order to take a further action, evaluate the enterprise risks and opportunities to decide which is more critical and vital. Develop the plan develop after identification and evaluation with different strategies. Processes Technology planning Technology needs Capabilities-based engineering analysis Purpose formulation There are three different aspects for the framework of IESE. 
Also, there are different rules for the IESC model. This is a framework that involves planning, analyzing, mapping and drawing a network of the process for enterprises and stakeholders. Moreover, it creates social value for entrepreneurship and explores and focuses on the social and societal issues. It forms a connection between social enterprise and system engineering. There is a social enterprise systems engineering V model, in which two or more social elements are established based on the system engineering framework for example, more social interface analysis that reviews stakeholders' requirements, and more activities and interactions between stakeholders to exchange opinions. Exploratory Analysis There are opportunities and risks in SA and they have to be aggressive in seeking opportunities and also finding ways to avoid or minimize the risks. Opportunity is a trigger element that may lead to the accomplishment of objectives. Risk is a potential occurrence and will affect the performance of the entire system. There are several reasons for the importance of risk management. There are few steps in enterprise risk and opportunity management process. Evolutionary Planning Enterprise Architecture Enterprise Analysis and Assessment Traditional Systems Engineering Set Applications Information Enterprise Systems Engineering Social Enterprise System Engineering Opportunity and Risk Management